I don't know how many folks, hello everybody, I don't know how many folks we got out there in the world of TV land, but I'm live here. I just really ran back into the office. I had to hurry and grab some, uh, well, visit a person's house, get some samples and stuff because they were having some issues with some bushes. And as I was over there, I was like, huh, but there was something important I was supposed to do today. I remembered I was going to do a live stream, so here I am. I don't think we have anybody in here, so I'm going to have my solo chamber again, but that's okay. Um, I wanted to make sure and put a video up this week. I'm going to just try and grab something and uh, we'll keep going. Alright, now we've got one person in here. Awesome. Well, I guess I'll show you guys just a little bit of what my office looks like a little bit here. Show you some of my different pets and things and maybe I'll handle some. This is what I'm keeping my Madagascar hissing cockroaches in. It's just a very large container. Here's some, uh, here's their, here's their bedding and stuff. And they've got the, uh, this egg carton here where they're just kind of resting. They're nocturnal. Still haven't had any babies, so I'm kind of sad about that. But it seems like they've been eating the dog food pretty good. It's not quite as warm here in my office as I'd like it to be. There's that. Here's some of my mealworms. I've kind of got them in a setup like a lot of other folks do. I've got the adults up here. They're doing quite well. Thriving pretty well. Haven't seen any babies yet. I'm waiting for those still. Um, just barely went into the adult stage not too long ago. For those of you just joining, I'm taking a look at some of my insects here in my office. And here's where I've got the other mealworms. Man, these potatoes are really a lot of fungus but this is where I've got some other mealworms. I also have another large mealworm experiment here. I've got some old recycled grain that's basically garbage and I've put a thousand mealworms in here to see if they can grow off of it. This is basically just waste so I really like the idea of recycling and using stuff like that so we'll see how well that works. I've got two different bins of that with some a few little differences on them. Um, I came into my office the other day and I noticed this and that is a exoskeleton from one of my stick insects. I've got a giant prickly stick insect, and I'll get them out here for you. Um, we'll see what they're doing. I don't know what they're doing right now. Maybe they're playing dead. If they died on us, you'll get to see my actual reaction of what happened um, and how I react to them dying. So hopefully they're not dead, but they do hold still a lot, so I'm, I'll get those guys out. I don't know if they're mating or what's going on. I've got the male and the female um, just right there in some sort of strange embrace. Let me see. Them. I'll pull them out. I don't know what they're doing. I'm hoping they don't have rigor mortis and they're not dead or something. Um, we'll have some questions after I get through showing all these things off. If you have questions, you can ask questions. Here's one of the um, walking sticks here. It's a different species. They're very, oh, very cannibalistic. These guys came in while they were getting transported. You can see it's lost a lot of its limbs, which is kind of an issue, but uh, they're super fragile. These guys remind me of the aliens off of uh, Men in Black. Just have kind of that face. Oh, oh, not really liking that. Yeah, let's, let's show off your face, dude. Show off your face. There's that beautiful face. The cutie. Yeah, they definitely look like sticks. Like our raspberry plant. So that's what I'm feeding them. I've got raspberry plants and I've just got them in a little kind of terrarium thing here, which has worked pretty good. Let's see what they're doing here. Looking a little bit sickly to me. I don't know if it's all right or what's wrong. There you go. This is Spike. This is the female. Huh. A little droopy to me. Might need more leaves. Might need to go get them some more raspberry leaves. So 
still alive. I don't know what's wrong. You need more food? The leaves are starting to get a little bit more dry if you look in here. Let's see. I might need to go get us more food today. I don't know what's wrong. They don't move a whole ton. Huh? Getting a little more moon in her. These I really like to take out to schools. Okay, well, we'll do the test. Hipster Ento says if she holds on while upside down, she's fine. She's kind of holding on, uh, but I don't know for sure. Seems like she's holding on pretty good. Um, does that pass the test, hipster? <laughs> hey, Kenji, how are you? Seems like it's fine. I, I don't know. She's been, she just barely molted, so maybe she's a little extra fragile. I don't know if that's why. She's just been behaving a little bit different ever since she molted. So I don't know. She might need some, might need some new food. The food looks like it's green enough to me, but let's see. What's going on here? Come on, eat some food for us. I don't think it's going to eat. You never know. I'm doing good. Just handling the guys. There's Bugman. Awesome. A lot of people call me Bugman sometimes, too. Not my official term, but hey, that's fine. You're going to eat? I don't know. It's probably fine. It, the male and the female are just acting a little different. Maybe they just made it or something. I don't know. Seems like it's all right. I don't know. I don't know if the molting, they're a little more sensitive. At least now she's more comfortable when they put up their abdomen like that. That means they're pretending to be a scorpion and they kind of feel threatened. So, I don't know. She's just been behaving a little bit different, but I really like these guys. They're a lot of fun. So I take these insects around to the schools and I teach the kids about them and get them excited about entomology. And it's a lot of fun. I usually try to walk in with it on my shoulder, just pretend like it's not even there and they just kind of get surprised. So. We'll see what she does. I wasn't planning on having her on my face, but we'll see what she does. Uh, okay, here's the male. She's pretty cool looking. Oh, the male is super active. He's totally behaving normal. Let's see what he does. Come on. Oh, he's really dancing for us. I haven't named the male yet. Okay, the male is acting much more active. He's really starting to do the boogie, the boogie dance. They like to pretend like they're <laughs> leaves and stuff. I'm holding my hand like completely still. You can see kind of dancing. They're so much fun. When I got these walking sticks, I was just so excited because they're a blast. They're not too hard to take care of. So hopefully, hopefully Spike's all right. I don't know what's going on with her. But her beloved mate is doing great. He's got tons of energy. He's not afraid of anything, and he's super busy. Come here, buddy. Yeah, I a lot of the insects I start worrying about, and I'm like, oh, they're dying or they're having issues. I, I always worry a lot about my insects, but they're usually pretty resilient. Oh, he, he really wants to come somewhere else. Um, stag beetles. I don't know that there's any out here in Idaho. When I was in Texas, I heard about some places you could go to find them, but, um, I haven't found any out here in Idaho before. There probably are. I just don't know exactly where to be looking and stuff. <laughs> I love how they dance. They're just so much fun to watch. <laughs> well, I guess if you guys have any questions, I don't have too many pets here. I'm still trying to hopefully get some grant money so I can get more insects I can take around to the classes. If you guys have uh, any questions, go ahead and ask. But yeah, we don't have that dag beetles out here. Oh, I could show you guys my... Uh, if you guys want to see the longhorn beetle larvae, I still have that too. I'm going to try not to let these guys get out of control. Um, let's see how many insects I can handle at once. Oh, there you go. Come on, dude. Come on. Okay. I'm going to go grab my longhorn beetle. Larvae, I'll show that to you guys again. Most of you guys have seen that already in the video, I'm sure. But I'll show you guys what I've got it in. I've got it here in a... Just got like a little tray thing. Uh, he, I think he wants to come on my face. 
Mega Soma in New Mexico. I'm not sure. Yeah. So I've got a kind of container here. Oh, he's starting to try and climb on my face and it really tickles. Let's see if Burke didn't. I think he's like touching like some neck hairs or something. Kind of funny. Anyways, yeah, so I've got this container here. I've just got dirt in it and I've got some of the roots and stuff from that tree that I had. Hello from Russia. Awesome. Got some people all over the world watching. That's great. Um, let's see here. Okay, I'm pulling off the newspaper. I keep some newspaper to kind of keep it moist. And then, as you can see here, just a bunch of, uh, oh, let me pick up my thing. I don't have any millipedes yet. I've been talking with someone about getting some, but I haven't quite gotten to that point. But yeah, so this is what I've got the longhorn beetle larvae in. This guy's really starting to tickle my neck. He's just like stroking my neck or something. What's going on with her back leg? That's strange. I'm not sure. I don't know what she's doing. She's just been acting weird. Uh, let's see here. So I'm going to open up this thing. I wish there was a better way to put this camera. Let me see if I can get a book to hold it up. Maybe it'll give me a better angle. Stick a book behind it. It probably is a little bit better. Okay, here we go. Now I can pull this out. Yeah, I don't know what you're doing, dude. Tickling my ear. So I'm just going to pull out the logs and stuff here, these twigs. And then we'll look in here and see if we can find the longhorn beetle larvae. Just got a bunch of logs and stuff for him. And I'm assuming he's been eating. I don't know. I probably should measure him to see if he's getting smaller as um, things go by. To me, he seems a little bit smaller than he was before. But I don't know. Getting dirt all over me for you guys. This better be worth it. Hey, five people is a great amount of people. I think last time we only had um, three or four, but six people. Hey, awesome. Welcome, everybody. If you have questions, go ahead and ask them. Um, I'm just getting out my longhorn beetle larvae. I've got my walking sticks here on me. These are giant prickly stick insects. So I feed them raspberry leaves, which are pretty easy to come by. I've also heard you can feed them uh, rose leaves. I'm just trying to find things for the winter because during the summer here in Idaho, lots of people have, uh, um, a lot of people here have space for, or sorry, they have raspberries. Um, Hipster asks, would you keep centipedes? Yeah, I would keep a centipede. Um, I don't know. With the pets, I'm trying to just find as low maintenance as I can. Um, without too much work. So, okay, here's the larvae. Finally found him, sorry. Yeah, I'm sure a centipede bite would not be fun. Here's the longhorn beetle larvae, as you can see. Sorry the quality on these videos is probably not the highest. Our streaming here is not that great, but here's the longhorn beetle larvae. He stayed alive this whole time, which has been very surprising to me. So I think he's eating something. I don't think he could live this long if he wasn't eating something off of the roots and stuff that I put in there for him. So glad he survived this long. Never touched his mouth. Let's see if he wants to bite my fingernail. Probably not. I don't know if I want to get bitten on here. Maybe to increase, increase the viewers or something. Hmm. Oh, he's bitten my... Oh, never mind. <laughs> he bit my fingernail. Oh, they'll eat salad? Have you fed salad to this species before? Uh, maybe that would be a good idea. I, I just want to have something to feed them. Just to keep them... Um, keep them going. Yeah, he bit my fingernail. He was kind of holding on to it, and I kind of freaked out. I was like, uh-oh, he's not going to let go. And then he just kind of fell back into the container, so. What is salal? Sorry, I thought you just said salad. I don't know what that is. Sounds like some sort of Indian food. I'd like some salal, please. Or is that like salt or something? <laughs> I don't know what salal is. I'll have to look it up. Is it something you can buy in a store? He's going to try and escape on me here. I just put him in a tray for a second. Oh, yeah, black blackberries. Yeah, I've heard are a really good thing to feed them. But I don't know uh, if I can find some around here. It'd have to be in, like, a greenhouse or something. But they, like, sell it, I guess, in stores. I'd have to look. So... 
Let's see. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna put him back in the container and I'll let you guys kind of watch, see how he moves. He moves in a very interesting way. So I'll put him in there. I'll let you guys watch him move. Let me get the camera here. Okay, let me pick up the, I'm actually going off of a tablet, this is an iPad, and I'm going to flip the camera, let you guys kind of watch it move. He's not very mobile, that's for sure, but it does move in a pretty cool fashion. I don't know if it's gotten any longer than it was before. I need to measure it sometime. As you can see, compared to my thumb, and according to my collecting and rotting logs video, I have a very long thumb. I don't know why everybody notices that I say that. I just say some weird things sometimes in the videos. I don't even think about what I say half the time. And then when I'm editing it, I'm just like, whatever. He's pretty slow. He's going to try and burrow himself down into the ground. Not all that fast. So right now I'm just checking out the longhorn beetle for those that are just joining. I think someone just keeps jumping in and out. I think we've got the same people here. I don't think anything's changed. I'm trying to figure out, those of you that are here and those of you that watch this, one of the things I'm thinking about doing is I'd like to find a website. I'm not sure if we do it through Facebook or something or if you just email them to me, but I'd like to make a website where you can send me pictures of the insects you've collected. And then at the end of each show, I will put the insect of the day or something like that or the trophy of the day. So I'm thinking about doing that. I'm still trying to figure out how I would do it, but I think it'd be fun for viewers to be able to submit pictures of the insects that they've collected, and then we can show that show that off to people at the end of each episode, and then everybody kind of gets a chance to put something on there. So if you want to send me pictures, hipster, or any of you that are watching, send me some pictures of some stuff you've collected, and then maybe I'll start putting it at the end, and I'll hopefully maybe build a website soon. Um, that we could host them on, but as you can see, he's not really moving all that much. I guess we could do it um, on Twitter. That would work. I just have to have some way that when... Sorry, let's flip this around. You guys get a look at the Idaho weeds and adjacent area... Uh, weeds of eastern Washington. But um, we could do it on Twitter. The only issue is I have to have something or some sort of form that says, hey... If you put this picture up, um, you're giving me the copyright to put it on the end of my show. Because I don't want people, you know, you've got, I've got to have some way for people to say, hey, I am allowing you to put this on your show type of thing. So that there's not like any question about who owns the picture. So that's that. If you guys have any other questions, you can go ahead and ask those. If not, I'm going to probably wrap this up. Uh, I didn't get to read that whole comment there. Is that you found a wolf spider? Let's see here. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Uh, a couple of weeks, I adopted a fake wolf spider. She became really thick after a week. She was hiding in a seashell. I put it in her enclosure. So I'm trying to look at that. Huh. Interesting. So it sounds like... Uh, North J. Lunjenga. I'm saying your thing wrong, but um, she came out to eat. It's really skinny. She's getting babies. Awesome. Okay, so you had a wolf spider and it had some babies. Is it? Uh, it's not a wolf spider then. They're not like actually living on it. They're just kind of doing their own thing, or are they like staying on its back? That's cool if it is. If it's not, that's cool either way. Spiders are pretty fun. Let's see. I need to close up this guy again. Go back to his home. Oh, 
Power of the Roaches doing. Um, we did not hear it the very first. Um, I'll show one more time, and then I think I'm going to wrap this up. The Roaches are doing good. Um, this is their actual container I keep them in. I'm hoping to get a big colony. <laughs> I have this giant container for three roaches. I'm wanting them just to take off with their breeding, but I don't think it gets warm enough in here all that often, but yeah, here they are. Just chilling in here. Maybe the male's infertile, I don't know. They're not, I've had them for probably two and a half months and I still haven't seen any babies, but oh well, do what you can. You guys can all hear me pretty good, I guess. I didn't even ask or check to make sure you guys could hear me. I guess you guys would tell me if you couldn't hear anything. If they make any noise for us. Hmm. You think that helps with the breeding? I don't know. I can get more egg cartons, but I just don't know what they like in particular. I did in my enclosure, I did put Vaseline on the sides. I listened to some lady on the internet and she said, Vaseline doesn't work and okay. Maybe it's not a perfect thing. I think what she was trying to say was you don't use you don't depend on Vaseline, but Vaseline does help and it does work because in a lot of the experimental stations where we work with cockroaches and stuff, we use Vaseline. We put Vaseline on the container. So it does work, but there's no fail safe. So you do want to have something to seal them in. You just want to take as many precautions as you can. So all right, well, we're losing our numbers. I'm going to wrap this up here. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, if you guys would leave a comment below of what you thought about this. I'm sure the quality wasn't all that great, but um, thanks for watching and being here with us. I'm going to put these guys away, and I don't have... Oh, I do have beetles. Sorry, never mind. I was going to wrap it up. I do have a couple beetles I forgot to show you guys. Um, good thing you asked. I've got a couple Pinakit beetles in here. Which people out here like to call them stink bugs, but these are, oh, um, they're a type of tenebrionid beetle. Let me just open it up. Interesting. Thanks for asking the question. I was about ready to finish up. I'm like, uh, what else do I have to share here <laughs> today? Don't want these things to go too long. Right, I'll set this down and maybe I can see these beetles a little better. These guys I'm not going to touch or handle because I don't want to get sprayed. They stink pretty bad. They're Pinakit beetles. And these are desert beetles. You can find them out here. I've been feeding them. They've been eating oats. Um, they've been eating some of the dog food too. Should be another one under here. We'll see. This is their little tiki hut. Oh, there it is. Kind of like a skunk. That one's ready to fire right now. I don't know if they're male or female or if they're gonna mate. I just put them in here in case they did. I had a cricket in here too at one point. Looks like they cannibalized it and ate it. I just think I can see a piece of it. Over there, it looks like a cricket leg to me. So I put a cricket in there and they cannibalized, they, not cannibalized, I guess, they ate it. They must have died and then they just they're scavengers they eat whatever they can find so there's also an earwig in there that they probably ate too make sure it's not over here somewhere hmm yeah i don't know don't smell too bad right now but i just give them a little bit of water every once in a while so they've got some yeah i don't have a ton of pets right now i'm in the process of making trying to come up with some new trap ideas Got, uh, I really love mosquito mesh. So I'm thinking of maybe making some sort of trap with it. Just made kind of like a cone and then you could make some sort of trap. So I'm trying to think of some more trapping ideas because some of the best videos I've done so far, at least with the most views, is that, uh, um, what's it called? The, the pitfall traps. That's been one of the best videos and also the um, collecting and rotting logs. I just want to do more collecting stuff. Um, I, I don't know what's going on with your spider. You're saying it's getting thicker and it's uh, having some issues. I, I don't know. It sounds like it, if it's got babies and stuff, it just might be acting very differently because it's because it's pregnant or something. I don't know. Oh, I was just going to show you real quick the, uh, uh, the eggs from the... Oh, hello, Landon Martell. Uh, I was going to show you really quick the eggs from the phasmids or whatever they're called, the stick insects, walking sticks. 
Um, they look like seeds, so I haven't gotten any from the larger ones. Those are from the uh, thinner ones, which I think they're from Vietnam, but I'm not sure. I know that the um, I know that the giant ones that are here on my shoulder, I know that they are from Australia. And there's this guy. He's doing the touchdown sign. So, anyways, I'm going to wrap this up, everybody. Unless somebody asks about some other random insect that I have hiding in here that I forgot about. Oh, I guess I could show you one more thing. <laughs> I keep thinking of cool stuff I could show you guys. Uh, where did I put that? I had a jar of dirt in here. I'm not going to just show you the dirt. I had something in the dirt. If I can find it. Oh, here we go. The other day I was just looking. I, whenever I can find something interesting, you guys know I'm going to just grab it. Um, I found this huge earthworm. I don't know if it's that huge, but it looks pretty huge to me. I think it got kind of cut, but look at how long and big this thing is. It's like a foot long. Seriously. Here's my hand. So it's like a foot long worm. Oh, and there's a couple of aphids on it randomly walking around because I think I got some in the dirt. It's an aphid right there. It's almost impossible to see, I'm sure. That little green thing is an aphid. It doesn't have an ooze, but it's crazy how big this thing is. Big earthworm. Not an insect, but just something cool I thought I'd show you guys. I think I'll probably put it in with my pinacate beetles, and I bet they'll eat it. So we'll see how well they do. But anyways, I think that's all i got to show you guys for now. I'm sure I'll hopefully get more pets as time goes by. Maybe a tarantula, centipede, millipede. Some other things, but just low maintenance stuff that kids can handle in schools and I can get them excited about insects. But thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment below to let me know how this went. And uh, if there's a better time that works for you, maybe you can let me know down there too. And um, we'll stay tuned next time where big adventures start small. We'll see you guys. That is if I know how to cancel it. It's a big challenge.